I'm Ursula Jones, born Strebi. I was born in Lucerne in 1932. And uh, I came to England to learn English in 1954 for six months. And I'm still here now in 2019. <laughs> I always wanted to live in a big city. My dream was actually Paris, and my original dream was to have a gallery, a picture gallery in Paris. And then I landed in London, and I loved it right from the start. I was very lucky to get a job in one of the big orchestras in the office of an orchestra. When I fell in love with the trumpet player, uh, my parents weren't very pleased. So they told uh, my boss, Mr. Legg, and so he wasn't very pleased either. And he made my life more difficult. And I thought I should become the orchestral manager. And he actually engaged somebody above me. Uh, in the early 60s, I really needed to earn money. I became a so-called fixer, and I fixed groups for film, for television, for the BBC even. And then somebody asked me, actually that was about 61, 62, uh, and a conductor who was appointed to conduct West Side Story, which came for the first time to Europe, whether I would like to fix his orchestra and for the West End. And that was something quite fantastic because the West End theatres were totally monopoly of fiddle players and men. And there came a, a woman and, and a foreigner, you know. And it was such a good orchestra that other impresarios asked me to fix orchestras for uh, other shows. And at one stage in the early 60s, I had about five West End theatres, uh, orchestras. Today, well, sort of my main mission is young musicians. And I like to help young musicians because they come out of college and they don't know how to organize concerts, they don't know how to organize tours. And, and so I'm always on the lookout for young, talented musicians. And um, I take them to Switzerland sometime and um, organize concerts here. I'm involved with quite a lot of uh, musical uh, organizations. Sometimes just as a trustee, like with uh, the homeless people, Streetwise Opera, who does um, music. They do music uh, to help um, homeless who get out of their homeless life. And the music is a fantastic way of making them happier and, and active again. Ursula and Mrs. Jones for services to music. Today, for instance, um, I had a meeting this morning and now I'm meeting you. And uh, in the evening, I'm going to the Festival Hall, the National Youth Orchestra is playing, and I always support one of the trumpet players there. And afterwards, I shall go to the Tate, where there is a, an all-night do by Gavin Bryars. Um, one of his works is being performed there from 8 o'clock in the evening until 8 o'clock in the morning. So I won't stay there until 8 o'clock in the morning. But that's what London is about. I mean, there's always something on, you know. I Actually, I would have liked to go to the Whitmore Hall at 5 today. That's at 6 o'clock, I think. But I can't make it with the Festival Hall, so it's all right. <laughs> I've always, already as a young girl, I wanted to fly out. And so I haven't had, um, you know, uh, ties really with Switzerland. And uh, I like to go, I like the mountains, of course, and I like my hometown, Lucerne, uh, because there's quite a lot on there. And, uh, but uh, I'm always glad to come home, yes. Mm -hmm.